Diane Lor here. Today I'm overly excited to bring you in a really new adventure. Let's paint, 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 paint in Paris, paint in Paris, yay! So of course you are coming along with me. I am going to make you visit a bit of uh, Paris, exciting places, and uh, we'll share with you my painting practice uh, for the day. Let's get started. So we are in here in the Quartier Saint-Germain in the center of Paris. For now we are going to go to the Louvre and maybe up to the Eiffel Tower uh, with the scene, atmosphere and everything. I think this is going to be a nice itinerary for me to share some atmosphere with you along the way with the video shots and the paintings of course. <laughs> The Institut de France in here. So beautiful. We are in the Pont des Arts, which is one of the most famous bridges on Paris. And it was the bridges where there were all the locks, but uh, they have to remove the, all the locks because the weight was so strong that uh, the bridge could have uh, crumbled. So sometimes you have a bit of a few locks uh, left uh, here and there, but uh, now they are most uh, glass. Uh, Thing so that uh, you can't put uh, locks anymore, but the bridge is safe. This is such an enjoyable bridge because it's only for people and no car at all, so that's so enjoyable to be able, you know, to enjoy the city without any cars or anything. Plus, you can see so many things from uh, these uh, bridges out there in Saint Louis, Ile de la Cité, La Conciergerie, Notre Dame, everything. I will probably uh, come here back uh, at sunset to sketch, so it will be be amazing with the lower light and out there the other side you can uh, see the Eiffel Tower just in here the top of it and uh, this is all the Louvre that we are going to head on right now And with the music, that's so romantic! <laughs> we arrive at the Cour Carré du Louvre, the square courtyard, and uh, then, ta-da! La Pyramide du Louvre! <laughs> I think this could be a nice first uh, subject to paint, but I need to find a nice uh, angle with a shady place. This seems to be a nice uh, angle. I like uh, the fountain as a negative shape. So with the three elements together, it could be a nice uh, triangular composition. But I definitely had to stop first to make some photos of uh, this uh, woman wearing a bright yellow umbrella in front of uh, the pyramid. So my spot were in here. Wow, this is quite impressive. Perfect, I don't even have to put out my stool. I have to think about including people too, of course. I already sprayed my palette uh, one time before leaving and dipped my brush in the water so that they are really soft already. Ready to paint! Ta -da, ta -da, ta -da. The phone is quite a wide angle, but now that I am uh, thinking about the painting, I realize how close I am to the monument. So I am going to try to make it fit in my page, even if it seems uh, larger, you know, for the height of the pyramid. 
It doesn't seem so easy, so I'm going to try my best. Maybe a few pencil marks, uh, just for once, uh, to help me uh, to keep in track of the place. So it seemed more reasonable indeed to make a quick loose pencil sketch. I always think I'm going to make a quick loose small sketches and I ended up making a huge monsters panoramas. I'm going to try to keep it loose anyway. So pyramid of the Louvre first uh, step, so of course the main shape of the pyramid, not in the center with the building out there and uh, this is a fountain and I like uh, the, all the little pyramid in here, I think it balances uh, the composition quite well and trying to start uh, making kind of uh, people sketches to give a sense of depth and uh, of uh, place being alive of course. Because of the pyramid is transparent, I thought it would be interesting to make kind of a light background. So this is the second step when I kind of ignored uh, the pyramid, just slightly lighter in here, but uh, a bit of color uh, showing through. <laughs> colorful sketch. I really try to restrict myself with the details but I think I'm getting there and I like the looseness and I hope we can recognize the scene while uh, keeping an interpretation painterly. It seems that I forgot the fountain finally but never mind it works like that too. I chose to keep the contrast rather low but I played with a complementary color between uh, the warm yellowish tone of the building and the kind of purplish blue from some other parts, the pyramid and the roofs. So this is uh, number seven for the direct watercolor marathon and uh, we are 30 of June so what a suspense! Still uh, three to go to succeed in the challenge today in Paris with you. <laughs> Having a peek through the triangles. <laughs> All the people working under the pyramid with this lovely diamond shadows. This is really lovely. And here is the pyramid! Now I am the one casting a shadow on the diamond floor. Shadow diamond, of course. But we have some painting to do! Let's go! Hey, what of you? I'm going to do it again for you. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah. Here it is again with a bit less uh, people in front. Uh, the Eiffel Tower is here. So, bienvenue in the Grande Tuileries! Big wheel and just out there, far away, Arc de Triomphe. And you can see the obelisk in front of the Arc de Triomphe too. 